Alright guys, we've got ourselves a Liberty Spec B wagon right here. I'm going to show you why I haven't driven it yet. We're going to have to get this wheel off to show you. Already jacked up the car. Let's get those wheel nuts off and show you what's going on behind that wheel. It looks a little damaged. I have not loosened this yet. There's one tight one. <sighs> Let me know down below guys. What do you think of these Spec B rims? 18 inch. What have we got? 22540 on an 18. Alright guys, this is why I haven't driven it yet. Oh, doesn't want to come off. Oh, oh. I don't know how long this car's been sitting. Come on. Walking it off. Wow. Here we go. Here we go. What? <laughs> you weren't expecting that, guys, were you? If you hadn't seen any of the other videos, you wouldn't have expected that. There. No rotors. Bearings feel alright. Can't reach, but yeah. Alright. I'm going to have to clean up this surface. I don't know how long this has been sitting without. Sorry, guys. I don't know how long this has been sitting without rotors. But those wheels up on there. There's a little bit of a lip. Alright, so I've got to get the calipers off the mount so I can get the, the disc on. We have some new brake pads. Sorry. The main thing was when I was moving this from their place onto the trailer, on from the trailer into here, not push the brake pedal. <laughs> I was just using the handbrake to um, get this in. Wow, this has so much more. I can make this on its ass. So I've never had adjustable coil levers before. It's pretty exciting. Alright guys, first up we are going to clean up this mating surface here where the disc is going to go back onto. So I'll just give it a bit of a scrub. I don't know how long these have been off. I know the rego was cancelled in April. So we're looking at six months. And the wheels were on here but not tight so hopefully everything is still good. The bearings feel like they're okay. And a brake part cleaner. Clean that up. Cool. Alright, we need to get the caliper off. So we've got some loose bolts behind here, kind of. So they are 17s. So what I'm going to do is loosen them off, and with the 
bottom hole and then cable tie it up to the spring so I'm thinking of painting these calipers so we're gonna come back in here shortly and clean everything up properly but for now I just want to see how everything goes Our new rotor. We have a Brembo. It's a three sixteen millimeter. Clean up. Right. So, what we need to do is get a Rotor will sit properly so we can get the caliper back on and the brake pads in. Alright, give it a little, little right down. See where I have my fingers? That's weird. Wearing gloves. All right, which is all cleaned up. What I mean, it was really only up there for two minutes, wasn't it? Got the caliper bolts. There we go. <laughs> yeah. See the bottom hole better. Okay. Okay. They both started. Good. Tighten them up. Doesn't take long to uh, change the brakes over. At least when you're doing rotors, you're going to be changing pads. If you're just changing pads, you, you really should be getting a rotors machine. Okay, top one start. Bottom one start. Now we need to get the caliper to swing up so we can get the brake pads in. But we'll most likely need to push the pistons back in because there hasn't been anything in there. And it doesn't look like anyone's really touched the brakes. I have done the other side. Um, it's probably only two mil, so just a normal wear of brake pads, really. 
So it's a 14 that we need to undo. Yeah. So the back side here, we have two that are on the outside. So these sliding ones. Let's go and do the bottom one. bit of a clean up, bit of a service um, so I'm going to have to push these back in so what I'm going to use is just a clamp down here I've got the cap off the reservoir and we'll just push it in just a little bit and then we'll get the, the pads in, the Bendix pads so pretty easy There are tools, obviously, for this. Different tools for different pots, pistons. Is that only a, a two? You can see the fluid coming up. I'm going to be careful here. We don't want to overflow it. That means brake fluid go down onto the paint, which we do not want. So that is not good for the body, not good for the paint. Right, so we've got the index pads here. So these are DB1722. The ones I got with the the rotors were the wrong ones. However, they are the right ones. For my XT. It says Ben X. It's got the number DB1722. But under this shim here, it says the location that they should be in. So this is outside right. So outside. Yeah, going in. <laughs> have inside right. I'm going to push these pistons back more. Try to keep them even. Pretty much, I'll put a, a spanner in there so the other one can get pushed back out. Make sure that we take that, that nut off when we mount the wheel back up. All right, so we've got some Brembo discs, and we've got some Bendex pads in there, the big calipers, and my other Subarus. And, um, yeah, a little bit more weight, maybe, in the Legacy. It is three liter. Right. I'm gonna go put the pads in the other side in the correct order. I'm not going to worry about taking the the wheels to work to see if they have a flat spot or a buckled because I can see that there's a flat spot. So 
obviously hit something but what we'll do we'll clean these up and get them on the car or we'll get them on the car and at least take this thing for a drive for the first time but there is one more thing that we need to do if you want to see what that is check out the video up here thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time